blue here. Sorry, I haven't made a video in a while. I just um, don't like to record too often. Um, I'm just going to be showing you how to f make a simple money finder in E2. Very easy to make. I'll display text on your screen. Um, it'll be really easy to make. And then I can show you how to make a more advanced one if you guys want. So uh, here it is. So we're just going to create a new expression. We don't need any of this crap. All we need is the name. Money finder tutorial. And then we're going to do um, interval 500, which is just going to make this run every uh, uh, one half of a second. So it'll run two times in one second, in other words. So we're going to do uh, find apply class spawn as for money. So this is just going to find money um, by the class name. So if it can find it, then it will uh, do the following: find sort by distance, owner, position. So what this is going to do, what this is doing, is it's um, defining our find function to a class of m money. Uh, what this is doing is it's sorting um, them through distance from me. To them, so from the owner of the E2 chip to there. If you wanted it, if you wanted it to be from the E2 to the money, then you do entity. But we're going to do it from us. And we're going to do if find. So what it's saying is if find equals anything other than zero, which in other words, if it finds something, it will have a distance, and then it'll do that. So um. So now we're just going to do um, print underscore HUD underscore center screen. Or it might be screen center. Mm, let me see. <laughs> Sorry guys, I kind of forget this. I always get th those two confused for some reason. It's money. Print that's what it was. Sorry guys, I forgot that for a second there. So, um, now it's going to just print it in the center of our screen and it's going to show the distance of it. So this is just going to have the text, obviously, distance, uh, right here. And so then the next we're going to do a plus, owner, position, distance, find, position. Make sure you have the uh, open and close curly brackets after each one of the statements, so that way it knows to end it. Um, so what this is doing is it's getting the owner pos owner's position, and then it's finding the distance between me and the money. Then we're also going to do we're also going to um, divide that by three just to make it a little bit more manageable. Because if you're like h half a foot away from it, it says you're like 300 the distance, which I think is x, y, and z combined. So I just divide that by three, so it's more like just one unit. Um, and then we're going to just do round and check for errors just by clicking that, and there's no errors. So it's just going to round it all up, otherwise we'd have all these little decimals. It doesn't look very good. So let's just place our ET chip. Uh, it doesn't seem to find any money, so let's just drop money. And I drop two dollars. And then it will show the text on the screen. Now, since we're not running many ops, I'm sure we could just bump up the uh, interval to, I don't know, 10. It'll, it'll bump up the ops by a lot, but it will make this a lot smoother. Alright, so the next thing, uh, on my next tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to do it on the X, Y, and Z scale, so it shows um, the difference between the X, Y, and Z on, on your screen. So is um, that, and then in my next tutorial for it, I'm going to show you how you can make it go to a hollow emitter and surround the money in the hollow emitter. So, see you guys. I have a